Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I sure appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. I'm actually down in the Lost Pines area of Texas. Hold on, let me get out of the wind. There we go. I'm actually at the Lost Pines, in the Lost Pines area, down by Bastrop, Texas. I'm gonna be spending a couple of nights camping at Lake Bastrop, North Shore Park. But I thought since I'm down here, I might as well visit the other park on Lake Bastrop. And so right now I'm parked at the boat ramp at Lake Bastrop South Shore Park. Lake Bastrop South Shore Park. You can get into both parks if, you're, if you've paid to get into one. So it's a two for deal. And right now, I'm not too far from some stuff. So I'm gonna deploy a little red and we're gonna go see some stuff at Lake Bastrop South Shore Park. So let's get to it. If you don't have an RV and you don't wanna sleep in a tent, you require the finer things in life, then you'll be happy to know Lake Bastrop South Shore has cabins with air conditioners so that you can camp in total absolute comfort. They also have a, an air-conditioned group meeting building so your family reunion group can come out here and be indoors while cooking barbecue outdoors. This is the Osprey Point Hall. Just so you know, central, kind of central Texas, great place for a, for a family reunion. All right, let's go see some more stuff. North Lake Bastrop South Shore Park. If you have a boat and you want to put it in the water, this is a good place to do it. They also have a three-slip courtesy dock. Lake Bastrop is actually a power plant lake, and so the water tends to be very warm here. Sometimes in the summer, from what I've read, it gets downright hot. Let's go see what else we can find. They actually have a very nice fishing platform for your fishing pleasure. And there is absolutely no diving no diving from the fishing platform. There are turtles in the water though. That would not bode well for fishing with worms. So here we are. Does not look very deep. Either that or the grass is really tall. All right, let's go, let's go see some camping sites. Let's go see where you can hook up your RV. We haven't made it to the camping loop yet. I got distracted. You know how I am, bright and shiny objects catch my eye. Actually, this was something I had hoped for us to be able to explore, which is a, I believe, an ADA compliant nature trail. called the Swift Trail. I think that's this one right here. But, nope, it's the blue one. So it would be this one. And then the loop. But I had hoped to be able to get on some of these trails, but I keep saying I had hoped to. The reason it's closed for maintenance. Maintenance. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Just kind of cruising through the RV camping loop, looking at some of the sites. They're nice. 
Now that's a, there's a couple of there's there's several dual double sites. I don't see any that are really water side though. Hey, what is this? Let's go check this out. This is the Lewis Point Commons. Okay, so this this is exclusively for people who are RV camping out here. And check that out. You don't even have to bring your boat with you. Water super clear. Wonder if that's the it. So if if you've come out if you come out to Lake Bastrop on a on a regular basis, could you share with us in the comments down below? Is the lake normally this shallow, or does it get deeper? It it doesn't look from the shoreline like it gets much deeper than this. But I don't know, that's why I gotta ask. Water is so clear though. All right, let's, let's go find some more stuff. If you're, if you're coming out to the Lake Bastrop South Shore Park, there are a few sites that you're gonna wanna make a note of. So site number 35, 34, 35, and 36. Those are some really great water access sites. Check this out. How cool is that? Shade, privacy, and water access. Man, that's awesome. All right, let's go see some more stuff. You know those cabins I was showing you earlier? <laughs> I had no idea. I was just scratching the surface. Check out this cabin. Let's see if we can get a look inside. You know, it's just a it's a basic cabin with a bunk bed and a little kitchen. But what this what these have, we're on the cabin loop. Here, here's the map. So, so what these cabins have going for them, check this out. Look at this. Holy snaky! I didn't even see that. We gotta go check out that fishing dock. All right. So if you're coming out to Lake Bastrop, or you're actually gonna be in the Bastrop, if you're gonna be in the area of Bastrop and you need a place to stay, you might really ought to consider one of these really cool cabins. They're all of, look like they're all available today. Of course, you know, that could change. So there's no kitchen. Four bunks and an air conditioner. So you have to use the barbecue cooker. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Lake Bastrop, South Shore Park. Kids need to get in the water and go do some swimming. Check this out. You've got to actually have a concrete beach so you got a sandy beach and then a concrete entrance into the water beautiful day use area let's go check out this fishing pier and see if this guy is catching any fish Not exactly. Yeah, it's just it's pretty accessible. This was better than that other one. You doing any good? At least you're getting peace of mind and relaxation. Yeah. And you're not getting your, you know, your hands don't smell like fish. 
Does not look like the water's very deep here, is it? No, it isn't. You fish out here very often? No, it's only my second time. Second time. Well, good luck. Thanks, may you man. may your hook be blessed. <laughs> All right. Hey, let, let's go see some more stuff. So if you're planning on a planning a visit to Lake Bastrop, specifically the South, South Shore Park, Lake Bastrop, no need to worry about finding activities for the kiddos. They have plenty, including miniature golf. It's the Lake Bastrop Mini Golf. And it looks like a good one as well. And it is handicap accessible, as I shall demonstrate. You got to pay attention. And we have a big star. Almost to the end. That was fun. Although we, we skipped the last hole because there's there's no outlet. I also have a an un a covered group pavilion here at the day use area. There's power, water. We have canoes, kayaks, and paddle boards available to rent. And I presume that you have to visit the camp, the camp store to, to rent those. A little bit, little bit rough, a little, little, little bit, little bit rough. It's a two-handed operation and I'm doing it with one hand. fish cleaning station they, they're expecting you to catch some fish uh oh got a curb hold on so if you have a boat and you're coming out to the north or the South Shore Park. If you're coming out to the South Shore Park with your boat, there's your boat ramp. Well, that brings us to the end of our little visit to the South Shore Park on Lake Bastrop, Lower Colorado River Authority campsite, campground, park, whatever it is. Hey, if this is your first visit to Dude RV and you found this to be interesting and entertaining, I'd appreciate you clicking on that thumbs up and sharing me on your social media. The algorithm, the YouTube algorithm uses that information, so it would really help me out, and I'd appreciate that. If this is your first visit, you might ought to consider clicking on that subscribe button. I'd truly be honored if you did. And for those of you who have subscribed, 
man i sure appreciate it that's why i get to come out here and visit and and see these things like that's why i'm here that's why i do what i do thank you so much that's why i'm here and for my patrons you rock all right y'all come back now you hear